NordVPN is a virtual private network service operated in Panama. It is supposed to be hardcore anti-censorship. For years, they have bragged that they are helping Russian citizens bypass Russian government censorship of the internet. And that's a big reason why people uh, use VPNs. It's to circumvent, defeat, bypass censorship. Now, NordVPN is censoring conservative websites in America and they're being extremely deceptive about it. The websites I know of are VDARE, which is run by Peter Brimlow, and American Renaissance, AMRAN, which is run by Jared Taylor. I know both of these people personally. And what NordVPN is doing is they have something called cybersecurity. And if you click to turn on the cybersecurity, it's supposed to block uh, malware and malicious code. Except all of the sudden, when you turn on cybersecurity, it tells you that VDARE and AMRAN are offline. To the end user, it looks like the website just went out of business or is having some kind of server problems and is offline for some reason. This is highly malicious and deceptive on the part of NordVPN. Now, if you're not using a VPN for a very specific purpose, it's highly debatable whether or not a VPN actually adds layers of privacy and security like NordVPN says. That's highly debatable. Now, I have a degree in computer engineering, although I don't keep up with everything, like I, I keep up more with world events, but in my personal analysis, the claims by NordVPN that it's going to add uh, extra security and privacy is highly debatable. Now, I used to use NordVPN to defeat uh, paywalls on media websites where they limit you to, you know, so many articles and then they want you to pay a fee to read more articles on their website. So I would use NordVPN to just change my IP address. Well, that has come and gone because everyone else was doing the same thing. And so now if I go to a, a website and it says I've, I've maximized my free uh, articles and I got to subscribe now, I, I got to sit there and switch my IP address 20 times before one of them works because everyone else is doing the same thing. So now uh, I find it much easier to use the website archive.is to defeat paywalls fast and easy uh, instead of using VPNs. It, unless you have some really specific reason, uh, in my opinion, it's basically unnecessary. Now, if you're like me, you've seen lots of YouTubers advertise NordVPN. Uh, for several years, they've sponsored a lot of conservative YouTubers. People on the far left have even accused NordVPN of being a, a right-wing advertiser or even a, a supporting the so-called far right, but they're censoring conservative websites. This is undeniable. And I decided to check and see what else they're censoring. Well, they're not censoring the, the main Antifa websites that are promoting actual violence, all of those work. I decided to try Daily Stormer, which is the most uh, well-known, notorious uh, neo-Nazi website around the world. It works fine. They're not censoring it. I went on Google and I was typing in all kinds of real radical stuff. I, I had um, all kinds of things come up on, on the extremes of all sides, and they all worked. It's, it's only hardline conservatives 
that are being censored by NordVPN. You, you can still go to uh, hardcore Antifa, hardcore neo-Nazi websites. All of that still works just fine. This is an absolute rug pull. If you're using NordVPN, you should cancel it and go with a different service. If they're censoring VDAR and AMRAN, there's no telling what they're going to do next. It's just going to get worse. And they're doing it in a secretive, deceptive, and highly malicious way. And we've seen a lot of rug pulls lately. DuckDuckGo was supposed to be based on completely unfiltered search results where no one website was given special treatment over another. They've already thrown that in the trash. They already have announced that they are now going to downrank websites to fight misinformation. Uh, we saw a major rug pull from the new social media website, Getter. The guy who started that was a former Trump aide. He was using his association with Donald Trump to pander to hardcore conservatives and now he's already censoring people like crazy and publicly groveling to the Southern Poverty Law Center. The Southern Poverty Law Center spends tens of millions of dollars promoting censorship. All right, thanks for watching this video. Share it to everyone you know. Click the like button. Post a comment below, tell me what you think about this, and please subscribe to my backup channels on BitChute and Odyssey. I'll have links to the description. And also check out the website National Conservative, which hasn't been uh, censored by NordVPN yet. And click the subscribe button. New video every few days.